Hello guys and welcome back to Minecraft. It's been a little while since I've really done anything on Minecraft. Um, other games have come up and grabbed my attention like crazy. Um, and it's getting yourself away from those games when you're just having so much fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm back. Um, recapping from last episode, uh, we did some bits and pieces. So we had a look at that village over in that direction, that over there. Uh, it was quite small. I was very disappointed in it, to be honest. I thought it was going to be a lot bigger. Um, but hey-ho, uh, you just... You satisfied what you get I guess um, and yeah that's what she said as well uh, <laughs> and yeah so I decided to go back underground uh, because between on last episode I couldn't find any diamonds we found quite a lot of lion and a few bits and pieces but apart from that we didn't find anything um, but I went back underground and I found some diamonds which were great um, but yeah it was actually quite surprising um, that were just there, sat in front of me. I just went a bit deeper underground and was there, right in front of my eyes. Right, way down, mining away. Um, it's not been doing too bad at the moment. I've uh, got picked up some iron so far, and uh, yeah, it's looking around to see if I can find any diamonds because it's. Uh, I'm struggling at the moment. I can't seem to find much. Uh, I've tried all over the place, and uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like there's much to down here, is there though? So, oh, whoa, hello. <laughs> um, just as I was saying that. There's some lovely diamonds here. Wow. Um, quite surprised by that. Normally I struggle for ages. No, look at the glistening. Um, That's really cool. Right, so I better pick these up then. Let's see how many we can get out of this. Diamonds! Woo! Oh yeah, just what we needed. Bling, bling, bling. Actually, no, that's gold bling, but bling nonetheless. Eight. Sweet. Eight diamonds. That's just what I needed. Um, I'm going to still keep looking around, see if I can find some more, actually, because uh, eight will do for, like, a, maybe a diamond sword and some armor. But, yeah, we'll uh, continue having a little look around, see if we can find anything else. Because you never know, especially down here. Right, which way to go? Straight ahead, or do we go to the right? Hmm, ooh, some gold. I'll take that. Move out of the way, bat. You're useless. I still can't believe they haven't added a drop for bats yet. Oh, that's so disappointing. Or maybe they have done, and I just hadn't noticed. Alright, well, while we're on the way down, we might as well go this way. So let's have a little look around. Anything down here, please? Uh, some more iron. That'll work. Oh, hello! Haha, <laughs> yes! More diamonds. Oh, and gold, wow. How much coal is there? Jeez, wow. So, um, some more diamonds. How many we got here? Is that number six or seven? How many we got? How many we got? We got 15! Way! And plenty of coal to go with it as well. Wow. Um, I've had some really good luck going on this little expedition then. Usually I don't find much at all, but hey ho, I'm not going to complain. I'll dig up this coal, dig up that gold, and we'll go search for some mocks. I'm almost out of torches. Um, I've just got 15 left. So we can't really explore too much more, unfortunately. Yeah, cool. Yeah, and in total, if you looked at the videos that I've just put up, a uh, little flashback there, uh, <laughs> as I always love to call them, uh, we have 15 diamonds. Uh, is it in this chest? Ah, there we go, 15 diamonds. We've got some lapis lazuli, we've got some gold ore, we've got some iron ore, and it was really, really good. Um, it's put me in a position where it's like, yes, we can move on. I also got the diamond achievement, which is great, and you may have noticed the text pack has changed. I've got Sfax running at the moment. It is a really good text pack, and it's apparently it does sync now in resource packs. Is it makes um, certain blocks uh, have a three D effect on them, so they're obviously a bit more depth wise. So you can see the furnace, you can actually look inside it, and it's uh, th these are really good. I mean, I like them a lot, and it adds that nice little flair to it. And Sfax is one of those ones where a lot of YouTubers use it, and it's a really good text pack. I've, I mean, it's just so simplistic in the, w the way it is, but it's amazing nonetheless. Um, but yeah, so let's have a look what achievements we got. So we got the diamonds, and then that means we need to head towards over to the enchanter, uh, which unlocks that one anyway. As soon as I think, as soon as you get diamonds, and then you pick up diamonds, so diamonds too. Oh, I throw diamonds at another player. Well, I can't really do that. Can I just get that achievement just by throwing it. Diamonds to you. Uh, no. Okay, so I guess I can't really get that achievement. That's a bit annoying if that's multiplayer only. Um, but what I can do is I can make myself a nice diamond pick. So why not? Why not indeed? Uh, 
All right, so diamonds on the top. Sweet. There we go. And I'm also going to make myself a nice diamond sword. And that leaves me with 10 left over. I need a few for um, getting some bookshelves. I also need some reeds or sugar cane in that case because I can't get bookshelves without them. And I haven't seen any around here. Uh, there might be some over in that distance. Like you, obviously, you look for bodies of water because that's where they can only grow. But I haven't seen any. I'd probably walk right past them and I should have picked them up. Um, no, I haven't got any, uh, which is a bit disappointing. But what I'm going to go do, actually, is I need to get up some obsidian. So I need to get some iron left over. Actually, I might as well make a couple of poppers. Now, I'm trying to remember how these work. Um, so if I can actually do this. Now, iron hopper is a good way to automate some stuff with Minecraft vanilla. Um... Which is very, very neat. So I think I need a chest and some iron to do that. So let's grab what we've got out of here. Dump this in here. And let's get the coal. Let's see if this works. Wow, that's really cool. I like that. That's neat. It's a shame you can't like see the ingot maybe there being pressed up and changed. But again, it, it only is Minecraft vanilla. So can't expect the world of it. But I just need some of these. I think how you make the... Um, Hopper is you put in the chest in the middle and then iron all the way around the side. I think it's been like I said, a long time since I've done this, um, so it's trying to remember exactly what you need to do. But like I said I think it's the chest in the middle and then hopper within like a V shape. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot you can't really just leave them in there. You get you get used to the mods. The last time I ever played Minecraft was with mods, and a lot of stuff you could do you could leave stuff in crafting tables, you want you didn't have to worry about them coming out and losing them all over the floor. Um, I said vanilla itself is quite sim sim simplistic, but I think the last time I played vanilla was back in 1.6. Right, so I got five. So let's see if this works. If I remember this, I'll be very happy with myself. Yeah, it is. Wow, I can actually remember that. It's great. So what you can do with this is um, if you have a chest and you put a furnace next to it, um, I'm trying to remember how you would do this. Um, in the general sense of it, but the, the the general idea is is you have a chest available and you can just use it to. Um... So let's just do this for now. Then, so we need a chest, we need another furnace, got some cobblestone. I do. There we go. And then we want the hopper as well. And the general idea is you put the um, chest at the bottom, so it'd be like this. And then you can either put it on top or to one side. It doesn't really matter. Um, it's best to put it to one side so you can at least access the chest. And if you do that, what it's going to do is going to put a little um, little hole there. And it's going to anything that goes into it is going to deposit into the chest. So if I throw any of these, oh, is this going to work? Ah, there we go. It puts it into the chest. And the cool thing about this is if you put a furnace on top, which sits on quite nicely, if you cook anything in there, let's say we put some iron, fling it in there, and then also put, I'm very, very careful how much coal I use. I'm one of those people where it's like, I've got to use eight coal. Because obviously coal can smell up to eight pieces of any particular resource. Um, but what it should do, once it does this, it should bing it in there. And then take it straight out and then go straight to the chest. So it's like a quick automation, so it saves you having to move anything. The downside is, though, you don't get any XP for it. So if you don't mind waiting around for it, it's great. But if you just want to do it while you're doing other stuff and being a bit automated, um, it, can, it can do it for you, which is which is quite useful. Um, and then on top of that, you can actually put another hopper and you can feed stuff into it. So if you have some weird kind of contraption where you've got like a chest and a hopper and chest. So if I do... We got, I need some more. And actually, oh, you know what? Out here. And then you put in a, another chest... So let's get the hopper first. So I need a, oh, I need two chests anyway. Let's do that. There we go. Let's put this around here. Grab the chest. And obviously the general idea is if you, I think, can you do it? I don't know if you can do it from the top or it has to be from the side. We'll try it anyway. I'm guessing the, the general way you can do this is, again, it'll work the same. So if I... There we go. And now I put everything in there. So let's say I've got um, some iron smell, or some more gold smell. What it should do then is drop it down. Not do anything yet. I'll go into the hopper first, but what it should do when this clears out, you should actually then funnel the gold into the chest. Now what I'm probably going to do is get rid of that. 
And then when that finishes cooking, I'm going to then move, remove it and see if it works. I can't remember if it, it has to be directly at the top or it could be from the sides because it would make it easier. Um, so that's like your automation. comes at the top, in there, into the furnace, smelts up. But you can't put coal in, unfortunately. I don't think there's no way to automate that part. Um, so that's what you just have to do. But we've got plenty of this now. I've got my diamond pick, which is good. I used my iron sword first before working on my diamond. Um, and then what I think I need to do is get myself a little bucket. Uh, we should have some iron here. And... Yeah, bucket's not changed. That's kind of cool. Get some water. And then I'm going to go down and mine some obsidian while I'm waiting for this. I know there's some lava just underground. I remember there were a pool of lava somewhere, but I can't remember where it was. Um, like I said, because it's been a while, it's kind of hard to remember everything which I've seen. Um, I could just recap over the videos, which would be the easiest thing in the world, but yeah, it's one of those ones where you like dump that in there. Shall we? Let's get some raw stuff cooked up. Um, oh my god, you got a lot of rotten flesh. I didn't even realise. Um, so let's really have a little look around. I'm just going to fling all these in here out of the way because I don't want to lose anything, really, to be honest. Um, and I'll go mine up some obsidian. At least then it takes us the next step, and that's getting the enchantment table. And then we need some reeds as well. So I might as well go on a little forage round for that. Um, it's getting dark, though, so I'm going to sleep first before I go on my little wanders because I don't want to get attacked because it, you get nearly killed so easy now by skeletons. I mean, I'm wearing full iron, and I was taking a two, two to three hearts of damage Per shot from a skeleton. It was absolutely ridiculous. It nearly killed me. Uh, plus your hunger seems to go down a lot quicker as well. But yeah, I will be back in a second. Right, so morning, everyone. So let's go and try find some reeds first. That's the main task, get some reeds, bring them back, and then we at least plonk them on the riverbed down here or by the little pond. Um, I do remember seeing some. I just don't know why I didn't pick them up. I think they were over in the direction of the... Uh, swamp over there but i'm going to see if we can find any up here they, they, they do stick out quite well at least um they are quite they're not like rare they're very common so hopefully i can uh see where they are well i say they're common this is the only time when you're looking for them like anything what you always want to look for and you can never find them um oh some over here no oh I keep seeing tall grass and I think, oh yes, it's sugar cane. It's like, oh no, it's not. <laughs> it's just tall grass disguising itself. Oh, that's a bunny. Come on, sugar cane, where are you? I know you're around here. Stop hiding from me. Yay, I found some. Finally. Oh, I've just been all the way around, passed over where those mountains are, back to where that village is over that side of the hill there, and come right around. And that's where that lava is I saw. I know I, know I saw a lava pool somewhere, and the reeds are right here. Thank God for that. I couldn't believe it. I was like, you be I can't find these reeds whatsoever. I kept looking, thinking, because they're going to look slightly differently. One, because it's Sfax Texture Pack. Two, because, um, as you can see, they'll look more 3D. Um... So I'm just going to take these. I'm going to leave these lot here, just in case I ever need to come back. Um, but what I'm going to do while I'm here, I've got a bucket of water. I'm going to drown this lava in water, so I get some obsidian. And I'm going to mine it up. Because that's what I'm going to do. Because I don't know. I don't. Do you get an achievement for getting obsidian? Oh, you do. Okay. Oh no, it's build a portal. So there we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that there that's a right pain trying to mine obsidian just for the fact of it's um, the water keeps shoving you but it's the best technique for it plus any lava underneath gets um well rid of so get rid of that there we go now this will go into there and i can mine away so i'll be back when i've done this because this is going to take a while i need at least 20 pieces just to cover me over from having to get any more uh, this is going to take a while Right, so we're back. I picked up most of the obsidian, actually. I thought I'd go for 20, then I thought, well, I might as well pick the rest of it while I'm there, because you never know when you're going to need it. Um, I also got the reeds, which I need to plonk down now, actually, to be honest. And hello, Mr. Creeper. Yeah, you're going to get shot by a bow and arrow. Oh, wow, I missed you. How many arrows can you take? Jeez. 
Uh, my iron sword ran out when I tried coming back. Um, bumped into a few different monsters on the way. So I have to uh, improvise. There we go. So that's them done. Um, my furnace ran out of coal when I were away. Um, we didn't run out, but it's just um, I didn't have any more in. So we've got a bit of uh, food now, which is good. Um, so what, what happened to this anyway? Did they... Uh... Yeah, because I don't know if you can feed coal in. So I'm going to grab some art. So we'll put that in there. The iron should drop down anyway. Yeah, see it's not working, so I'm guessing it has to be from the top. So let's dig this up then. I'm hoping that won't be the case. Um, I'm hoping you could do it from the side, but it looks like it has to be the top. Um, so you need a hopper. And then a chest on top. I mean, this gets quite tall. I mean, that's what, four high now. Uh, but at least if I drop any particular items in there, they should all drop to the bottom now. And this should actually feed through yeah, and go fill this up. So that should all cook away. It's something you could probably do, like you have it, um, your main chest upstairs, and then you have this underneath. Uh, and you can actually have a couple of hoppers. You don't just need to have the one. So you could have three in a row all going down, and then you could just have this in the wall somewhere, which would be quite useful to have. Um, so I got some iron there. What else did I got? Some rabbit hide. I didn't really need to sort all this, this rubbish out, but at the moment it'll do for what it is. Um, I have some more seeds I could use. Where's my hoe gone? Have it. There it is. Let's get some more ground tilled. Let's go around this torch. Keeps it a bit light at least. Food I can use. I guess I could just make this into bread. Probably be a good idea. I mean, it doesn't give you too much hunger, but it's better than nothing. Um, which we only need to top up. There we go. Cool. Yeah, you know what? Make the rest of it into bread, and then we can just have these two in there. Got the diamonds, which is kind of neat. So I'm going to try and keep all the resources that I'll use and need um, to one side. So they don't be in this chest. So the obsidian, redstone, diamonds, any iron I have left over. Right, uh, we'll keep that there. So like I said, that'll filter through, that'll do all that, but I should melt all the gold down as well, and the food as well. Uh, I guess I could just cut the food separately. I, I guess the general idea is you can just, like, like I said, automate it very a lot more quicker. So that's... Stick that in there. Stick the rest of the coal in there. And then we're just waiting for this food to cook up. God, my health is... My hunger's going like crazy. Right, so we need, um, I need some reeds, but I've got to wait for them to grow, which is, like I said, I'll probably have to hold off on that one, but we can actually build the nether portal, can't we? So if I just grab some obsidian, I only need, I think, is it 12 to make the portal? But I'm going to put it over to one side out of the way, because it can become quite a, a pain just to hear it doing its stupid all the time. So I'm going to put it here. So if we put it into the ground... Like so. You don't even need the corners. I mean, if you're going to hide it like that, it's perfectly fine. Um, I'm just going to remember how how hard... I think you can have the portal any size now, can't you? As long as it's a uh, minimum of a 3x3. Three three. Or a 2x3 uh, in the middle. There we go. Cool. And then we just need some flint and steel. And I don't think I've got any flint. I just need to get some gravel, don't I? You usually just pick it up by finding it. So what we got here? We got diorite, cobblestone. Got some gravel here. Uh, ah, no, we got some flint there. Cool. So it's need some. Got flint and steel, but yeah, it's iron, which I've never understood why they've done that. You'd think they'd call it slightly differently. There we go. And we should get the achievement for into the Never. Or is it when you go through the portal? Uh, it must be when you go through. So that's now up and running, which is great. 
So I'll just walk away from that so I don't constantly keep hearing it. So what other achievements have we got here? So I need to get... So overkill requires an enchanter. So this is when you enchant a particular item. You need library so you can get the bookshelves. Um, I need the enchanter so I need to get some... Did, were there some bookshelves at the um, village, I wonder? I might head back over to see if there was any. Yeah, it's probably a good idea, because usually villages are quite a good source of getting bookshelves. You lose the wood when you pick them up, but you get the books back. So I'm going to head over that way and actually just double check, because I'm sure I saw some bookshelves over there. Oh, no luck. Um, there's only these three buildings here, and this one doesn't have any at all. It just has a couple of tables and some... Well, more or less chairs. You can probably put stairs, really. Um, and that's it. There's nothing else I can actually use, which is a bit disappointing. But what it means I'm going to have to do is let the reeds grow. And as they do, I'll start spreading them all out across so they can grow a lot more quicker and more in one go. Um, but it does mean I've got to hold off doing the enchantment um, table, even doing the uh, the bookshelf, which is, uh, well, even getting the enchantment. Yeah, even getting the enchantment table, I've got to hold off on it all, which is a bit annoying. Um, but it's like sometimes what can you do when you've got to a point where it's like. Um, yeah, and is that some reeds there? Really? Why the hell did I miss these? Boink. So we got all, all lot. I think there were just four there, wasn't there? Hmm. This should give me some paper at least, shouldn't it? That gives me sugar. Yeah, we'll hold off till next time. So I've got four already, but I'm going to plant these down. At least then it'll speed up the process of getting some more. Um, and it's something I can look forward to doing next time, and something you can stay tuned to as well. So if you enjoyed the series so far, then uh, likes always appreciated. Um, if you want to see more continues like this or keep uh, be kept up to date uh, on the series, then uh, be my guest and subscribe to the channel. It's always nice to know when I'm doing content in the correct order and the correct way, and it's what people enjoy. Because uh, obviously the more likes I get for this particular series, it means the more chance I've got of continuing doing it. Because if other games come along which I'm playing more often, and people seem to like that content, then other content unfortunately has to drop out and take its place. And I do want to do this a complete playthrough, and I've done it before already, as I said um, when I start the series, but I do want to do it with the achievements in the twist, just so I can say, yeah, been there and done it, got all the achievements, and, and happy. But yeah, until next time, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. Bye.